Congressional pay should be withheld until this is all worked out. No special barber, no special gourmet cafeteria, gym, laundry, dry cleaners, drivers, bodyguards, benefits, health insurance. Roll up your sleeves, get your hands dirty, put aside your disgusting egos, go to work and figure this one out. Day 13 of the government shutdown. No resolution, no answers, no leadership, all politics. With me, two leaders we look to for answers. Congressman Elliot Engel, Democrat from New York, and Congressman John Fleming, Republican from Louisiana. All right, guys, did you hear that sound? Yes, indeed. All right. You realize that America is disgusted with all of you, and they want to get rid of the whole lot of you. So what do you have to say to yourselves? And please don't blame the other guy. I'm going to start with you, Congressman Engel. Well, I think Congress uh, needs to get its act together along with the Senate. Uh, perhaps we ought to put the leaders in a room and, and not to leave until things are done. Uh, I have a feeling that perhaps this is the week, but it shouldn't have really come to this. It's really an embarrassment, and you say don't blame the other, but we have our own, our own feelings, I think, unfortunately. I feel sorry for Speaker Boehner because the Tea Party is holding him captive. And, uh, but, 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 but then again, uh, Congressman, uh, when you say you feel sorry for Boehner, you know, people can say, you know, that they feel sorry for the Democrats because you've got a president uh, who said, I'm not going to negotiate until you agree to everything before I get to the table. Congressman Fleming, can you respond to that? Uh, Judge, I agree with that statement. Uh, we have sent uh, 11 different pieces of legislation that would get the uh, government up and going. In fact, we've uh, passed several that are in effect, and um, the president's position has been he doesn't negotiate. I've never seen a president who would not negotiate with Congress but would negotiate with the president of Iran and the president of Russia. Congressman Engel, look, we all understand what politics is about. You're trying to make the other guy look bad or, or the other side, and you come to the table with two different views and two different ideologies. Of course everyone's going to disagree. But isn't it an obligation to roll up your sleeves and get the job done? And uh, do you guys realize that Americans are, are fed up with all of you? Well, I, I realize that, but I want to tell you, 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 can't, uh, you, you can only negotiate if, if both sides are willing to give and take. What's, what's happened here is the, the, the national uh, debt, uh, we should not be tempering uh, ourselves with the national debt. We shouldn't be fiddling with it or fooling around with it. We shouldn't be shutting down the government. The president has not said he won't negotiate. He says no. that he won't negotiate with a gun to his head. Oh. We have an obligation to pay our bills, and we have an obligation to keep the government open. open. And once we do that, we then should sit and negotiate. Look, we've kicked the can down the road with Republican Congresses and Democratic Congresses, we need to sit together and find a grand plan to try to bring our, our budget more in balance than it is now and, and stop pointing fingers. But, but what happens with, with Speaker Boehner, quite frankly, oh, here we go. is he's got about three dozen people in, in his own uh, uh, group, uh, the no, Tea Party no, Republicans, you know who what, won't give him the with votes. With all due respect, and I know you many years, I'm not into trashing the other party right now, and Americans well, don't want to hear it. Right now, but what, you're what asking you me my do, opinion. And I'm giving you, know you my opinion. Let me ask you a question. The National Mall is closed, right, to, to veterans. How would you like it? I think what we ought to do is not clean your offices, not clean the hallways of Congress, force you not to go home to get the job done. But I'm going to move over to Congressman Fleming because I don't have that much time. Now, what, what let, Congressman let, let, Elliot Engel talked about, uh, uh, Congressman Fleming, and I won't even address the issue of, of the president talking about a gun to his head, which is outrageous, uh, a visual and language uh, for a president. But what can the Republicans do to make this work? Where do they have to give? Well, Congressman uh, Engel, my good friend from New York, uh, as, a, as an attorney himself, knows that negotiations never come to fruition without a deadline. And that's all we're asking for is a deadline. And the president says, no, remove all deadlines. In other words, give me everything I want, and then I'll negotiate oh, no. with you, Mate, which means nothing happens. Here we go. You, 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 both of you are doing it again, all right? What we need is for you guys to recognize that we can't just 
keep raising the limit. I mean, you kick the can down the road, and I agree with you, Congressman Engel, and we're doing it again. And then the, the, the agreement seems to be, oh, we'll do it again till after the election so we don't have to make the cuts that the American people want. Do you agree with that, Congressman Engel? Do you think that we ought to just kick the can down again till 2014? No. No, of course I don't. Of course I don't. And I think that we need to have maturity on all sides and come up with a grand plan that's good for the country. But you know what? And you the know Senate we keeps have to cut over. entitlements, right, Congressman? But the, well, I think we have to cut entitlements, but I think we also have to make sure that we have to close tax loopholes. And, and, and we, it's a combination sure. of both. Sure. But, but, the, but the, thing, the thing is this. The Senate has sent us a clean CD. Uh, we should pass it. Uh, Democrats will vote for it, and there are at least 23 Republicans who have said they'd vote for it. But Speaker Boehner won't put it on the floor. If he put it on the floor, it would pass. And then we need to right. sit down with the business. So You're quite Fleming, right of having a grand that? plan. Congressman yeah, uh, Fleming? Ju ju Judge, uh, a clean CR would not pass the House. In fact, it was attempted before, and uh, it would not pass. It won't pass now. And again, we all know, both sides of the aisle know, the only way we're going to get our budget into balance is to begin reforming entitlements, which is well, two-thirds of our Congressman national spending. Engel, okay, what happens if we default, Congressman Fleming? What happens? What if we do default? Well, well first of all, if we come to the October 17th deadline, we Thursday. will not default. We will not default because uh, we have at plenty of cash flow to cover our debt service. But over time, uh, it will affect how we can serve the people. But, so we should get on with the business and get this resolved. It, right. But I can reassure... It's a, Congressman that, Engel, you, do you think it'll happen before Thursday? Well, I hope it will. It's a disaster if we default. The interest rates will go up. The, it'll throw for the first time in the history of the United States. We really cannot be cavalier about this. We should pass a clean CD, and then we should get together and do our jobs. Well, uh, and, and finally, uh, as you go back to your districts, gentlemen, do you hear people complaining? I mean, do you realize that you can't keep doing this to us? Uh, Judge, let me tell you that I, I've had a tele-town halls speaking to tens of thousands of my constituents. I can't keep them on the subject of the shutdown. All they want to talk about is the problems with Obamacare and why we haven't defunded and repealed it. All right. Well, Obamacare I, and, and the shutdown ahead, of the government is like mixing apples with oranges. It was a bad idea to begin with, and, and, they, and they shouldn't have done this. And, and it's uh, really, is, really destructive. Congress if you don't like Fleming, Obamacare... There's we, some truth to what he's saying. The problem is they waited you out on this one, and now, I mean, it's up and on the website that doesn't even work, one that we paid $400 million for, right. and who and knows when it's going to work. So and this we kind of wasted is the high time point. on that. It was never going to work. It, it's only, it's only going to get worse from here, Judge. Well, you know what? Let's hope well, it gets better. I, you I guys disagree. Are all it will get a lot better. You guys are all in trouble if you don't make this better. Congressman <laughs> Engel and Congressman Fleming, thanks so much for being with us tonight. Thank you, Judge. All Thank right. you. All right. And coming up, he launched a one-man mission to pay tribute to our fallen heroes while D.C. failed them. The man behind the lawnmower is next. And later, the blame game continues. The biggest loser? Congress. You're not going to believe what the American people like better than Congress. Hint, it has six legs.